quite very quickly, came together very quickly. And obviously I have a long relationship with John Fisher, uh, so it came together quickly. What are the terms? Are you going to be able to share any of the terms? Because I know the negotiations had to have been pretty intense to pull this together. Well, actually the negotiations were not that intense. Uh, John and I are friends, and so they will be here for three years, and then they have an option on another year. Uh, so uh, it was actually a fairly straightforward deal. You said Sacramento's not going to play second fiddle to any other market. I already see the signage. I already see they're not putting Sacramento on the team name. What assurances do you have that Major League Baseball is going to possibly expand here or let you keep this team if Las Vegas doesn't go through? Yeah, so uh, I've been in touch with the commissioner and I've gotten to know him, uh, the, uh, Rob Manford, uh, and they will be uh, creating a new team. Uh, they want it to be on the West Coast. They'd love for it to be in California. And I think uh, this is a great uh, showcase for us. Uh, we can prove that there's a market here. Uh, we can make the team successful. Uh, I think uh, we're in pole position to get the new franchise. Pole position's nice, but is there any assurances at all, or is this just something he said he would be willing to entertain? I mean, is there any type of guarantees for this? Because in, in negotiating this, you're driving down the price in another market. You're taking a team here. So what is in it for you to do this? Yeah, no, there's no guarantee. You know, we have to show what we can do. And I have complete confidence that if we set our mind to something, this is an incredible city. We have the best fans in the world. And at the end of the day, the best fans in the world will make it happen. What does a perfect world situation look like? three, four, five years from now, from your standpoint? Well, I'd like to have Sacramento be one of the sports media technology centers in the world. Uh, this will be the city of the future, and it starts with sports and entertainment. So right now we have an NBA team, and we'll have an MLB team, and in the long term, I'd like this to uh, be a place with a permanent MLB team and other teams. What updates need to happen? Will the stadium need um, updates to host a major league team, and do you hope that this leads to an expansion team later down the line? Yes, we are investing in uh, making this a MLB level stadium, uh, and yes, our hope is that this leads to a permanent MLB team. What specific updates are you expecting? I know that the lights are a possibility. Do you expect to, to update more of the locker rooms back there, specifically with those updates? Yes, yes. We will have a new clubhouse, and we will make updates that uh, are in keeping with MLB standards. The, the TV what deal for the specifically. Fans that maybe are hesitant to come and support this team. What would you say to the A's fans that maybe are, are, are on the fence of whether do they support this team or do they come to Sacramento or whatnot? What do you say to the fans? Well, you're going to see world-class baseball in the most intimate stadium in Major League Baseball. Uh, you're going to see an incredible city with a great ambiance. So, yes, please come. NBC, the deal with NBC, is that taken care of already as well? Yes, the uh, A's have negotiated uh, the deal. So all of that, all of those loose ends have been tied up. What's the time, timeline for the updates that you've mentioned? Well, we have to be ready before the season starts, and uh, we'll work hard uh, to... We have a culture of exceptionalism at the Kings, and we have a culture of exceptionalism over here. So whatever we do will be exceptional. When did, when did this, from a timeline standpoint, first come on your radar? And kind of along the lines you just asked a second ago, what would you say to those fans in Oakland that, you know, that, that, go, that go there and might feel a little bit different about coming to Sacramento? Well, what I would say to them is that, look, we've kept this team for a few more years in our state capital. Uh, they're going to be welcome over here. Uh, they're going to see some world-class baseball in a very intimate setting. Uh, and hopefully, it'll lead to a permanent team over here. Uh, my focus is really on Sacramento and the fans that we have here. Uh, we have the best fans in the world, and I know that they will be welcoming. You invested in Doco as well with Golden One. Do you expect to do the same thing around the surrounding area here in West Sacramento? Well, I expect a renaissance in West Sacramento, just as we've seen with Doco. We lit the fire with uh, keeping the Kings here and building the arena. Uh, and I fully expect that this will be one of the sports and media centers, not just in the country, but in the world. Is this a bittersweet moment for you, though? 
I mean, after everything you did to help save this team in this market as it was about to be pulled away to another city, to see another team in Northern California have the same thing happen to them, largely with your help, is this a bittersweet moment for you? This is a very sweet moment for me because I have had this vision that I wanted Sacramento to be the city of the future. I call it City 3.0 a place and it all starts with sports media technology entertainment and that's what we're doing here i want people to have something to do every single night of the year and i want them to have multiple options not just one option so now in the city of sacramento every single night you'll have options you'll be able to go somewhere and see world-class sports world-class entertainment this is the city of the future. We don't have to play second fiddle to any other city in the world. And now we're going to see more and more of that. We're going to see technology companies. We're going to see the best and the brightest people in the world move here. There is a competition for talent. It starts with sports media and entertainment. You bring world-class sports media entertainment here, and the best people in the world will come here. And we're seeing that. Thank you. Hey, thank you.